And now let's look at the Cycle Articles publication search feature. So from the top of the menu in Psych Articles, we can see there's basic search, advanced search, and publications. If we click on publications, it'll take us to the publication search uh, feature and interface for Psych Articles. Looking at the publication search interface, it's similar to the basic advanced search interface. Uh, where we have a search field at the top where we can do searching uh, by words uh, in title uh, specifically the title begins with a particular word in the publication summary or in the subjects we also see here that all the publications uh, are listed here by default uh, there's the initial view here there's a browsable interface so we can browse by the journal title uh, with the letter beginning with uh, so we can just jump to that and see those listings. And we also see that we have some filtering options here on the left. Uh, so let's just use some of the publication browsing. If we were to use this feature here and wanted to see all the journals that begin with the letter N, we can click that. And then we see there are just two publications, Neuropsychology and Nordic Psychology. Going back to the main publications view, uh, by default, we have the 142 publications. And then we have some of the filtering options. So if we were to browse by that, we can click and open and look at publication subject. Uh, by default, only the first several most popular listings are listed here at the top. But if we click on more, we'll have uh, the widget that pops up that shows the publication subject. By default, again, it's listed by count, but if we click on publication subject, it'll sort it alphabetically from A to Z. So we can see bio, uh, biology, physiology, biology, and we can scroll through. We can, we can use this as a way to uh, base our searching. And we can see that these are the ones that are listed in the, from the 142 results. So not too many different ones, uh, but here we can choose if, for example, we were interested in pharmacy and pharmacology, then we could click that, click apply. And then we can see that the two journals that deal with that are the experimental and clinical psychopharmacology journal and the journal of psychophysiology deal with those particular subjects. I'm going to clear that applied filter. So we go back to all of them the listing. And then of course we could, uh, search by other filtering options or we could choose the publisher if you happen to be uh, we know that there's a particular publisher we want like we just want uh, APA the American Psychological Association publications etc and again we could click the more and then we also have database option but that doesn't do much in this case because we're actually in uh, psych articles as the database itself and remember this is a ProQuest interface uh, so it's this publication search interface is common across all of the sub databases that ProQuest has. And so since we're in psych articles, it's just psych articles. But now to use the search at the top, uh, let's say we're interested in all the journals that deal with abnormal psychology. So we can type abnormal. And as we type it, we see that some journals pop up uh, listed here. Uh, so we could uh, click through and select some of these, but we can also just do search. And we see that three publications actually match this that are in psych articles, the Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology, the Journal of Abnormal Psychology, and the Journal of Abnormal Psychology and Social Psychology. Clicking through here to Journal of Abnormal Psychology. So let's actually look at the entry for a journal. Here we see uh, the Journal of Abnormal Psychology listed. Uh, we can click here and do more publication information. Uh, so we have more information for the full text formatting and citation formatting are available uh, for this particular journal. Uh, it looks like it was from the start of the journal. We can see that the subject is set to psychology. We also see that there is a search within this publication feature. So if we know that we want to find an article within a particular journal, we could just browse here using the publication search feature, find the journal, and then do our search within this journal here and start the search there. We also see that by default, 
we see the issue content as the latest available, which is this one published uh, as of this video on September 17th, 2020. The article is the predictive value of implicit and explicit self-esteem for the recurrence of depression and anxiety disorders, a three-year follow-up study. But when we go here, we can see, uh, we can choose a particular issue to view. So when we click this last uh, drop down here, we can see that there are uh, September 17th, September 10th, September 7th, and September 3rd. Uh, so we can jump to uh, September 10th and say view issue. And now we see that the issue contents for September 10th are this one here. We can also change to view an issue by month. So we could go to the month of August. And when we do that with this interface, we now see here are the different options available. We see August 27th, August 20th, August 17th, but we also see that there's a cumulative issue. If we were to go to each individual issue, see this is August 27th, there is one article. Click August 20th, there's another article, and then we click to August 17th, and that's this article, but then we click here and then we see all of the different articles available within this issue. The cumulative volume 129, issue six. Then we can use this search within issue uh, feature and we can search across all of the articles in this issue using the search. You can see there are a lot of articles here. We could go to July as well. And then we can see here that July 16th has two. But if we go here, we see more issues here. So just remember to use this interface and drop down and to explore and explore by month. So we can also just change the year. So if we change to 2019. Uh, now we see that all of the listings are cumulative issues for 2019. If we go back to 2020, we can see it's a breakdown by month. So the current year actually has monthly breakdowns uh, where you can choose the individual issues. But if we go to previous years, we can see it's a cumulative issue breakdown. So when we can search And view all of the issues in that uh, view all of the articles within that particular issue and then we can also search within that particular issue if we wanted to and finally we can see here at the top that we can copy the URL uh, directly to this particular journal so that we can come right back to it so we don't have to browse uh, the publication search interface. Uh, we can just copy the URL, the web address, and save it, and then just jump right to it directly next time.